Hello everyone, I am Richard, the lead of Timberwolf Games, and I am going to show you the Indie Dungeon, a small game we're working on at the moment. You can find it on the Game Jolt website, I'll put the link in the description. Here is the working title screen, uh, you've got new game, load game, pretty simple, website, which will send you to the Game Jolt website, and exit, yeah, just quite simple. Right, we'll just get on straight into the game. At the start you'll have a quick, simple story basically telling you your grandpa's passed on and left you with some land of his and he says do not enter the doorway at the end of the island which where you this is where you start you get to log in with gate and jolt i just got to press enough now and let's get on with it all right so this little happy character here is you uh, you basically get to build dig fight monsters and change your equipment so Rich is held within. This is the door your grandpa was telling you about. So this is the menu. You can, you've got quite a few stats at the side, but we'll worry about them later. We're going to inventory, and this is where you get all your inventory. You get to change your hat, your clothes, and shoes. All right, so we'll just go straight into the dungeon. The first dungeon is like a tutorial dungeon. I'll tell you at the bottom how to do things. So press W to jump. You can swim in water, but it's pretty basic. Alright, press I to access your inventory. Put the pickaxe in your hand. Some items can be broken, like vases. So we're going to inventory and you get right hand, left hand. So I'll right click, left click. So I'll put it in my left hand. So now when I left click, I can mine. So I can mine dirt. I can mine quite a lot of stones. The only stones I can't mine are these here, mossy, which keeps the water intact. And just move that. Obsidian, I'm guessing I'm gonna call it. And this here, concrete. Just where you spawn in dungeons. Alright, so now it's telling me some heights cannot be jumped. Press B to select the block. So basically I can't jump up here no matter what I try. So I go into my block menu and at the moment we've only got a selected bl few blocks. And press E will create a block. Press Q will create a wall of this selected block. That's fine, we've got dirt. Go back, so we click E and it creates us a block. If we click click Q, you can you can barely see it but there's a wall there. So we'll go up here. There you go. Pretty simple. Right, lava and acid will damage you, as you can see there, almost killed myself. But you can swim in acid. So lava will just more or less kill you and just keep push pushing you to the top, but acid is a bit like water. Right, certain blocks will give you loot gold, sapphire and silver. So you just dig them out and uh, you'll be able to get better pickaxes with the more money you've got. So things like this will take us long to mine out. Right, so we've just got a sapphire, picked up gold on the first one and here's some silvers. Now if we look in our main menu, this is the loot list. So we've, it goes coal, emerald, sapphire, ruby, amethyst, diamond, bronze, copper and then two unknown ones for now and silver and gold obviously you're going to be collecting a lot of gold so you've got a bigger bar the moment we've got one sapphire and four silver that's fine as you can see the stats on the side are slowly going up all right so now we've also got a chest press s to use things s and there we go we've got loads of stuff so oh, that's a bit lucky copper armor it's supposed to be quite rare so there we go we now have some copper armor things to mine here. Right, I'll get straight into it. Alright, so now we've finished our first dungeon, we can go into the next dungeon, but I think we'll go to the town. This land here is yours to build whatever you like. Or you can just mine whatever really. This is the first village. Got some pots for you to smash. The blacksmith where you can sell all your items, what you got here. Apart from silver. That's a mistake that I've made. Right, so here's a simple house, a simple shopkeeper. Right, so you've got potions, weapons, pickaxe, all sorts of different hats, shoes to make you run faster, and body armor. Which at the moment I've got the best armor, so I think I'll leave that. We've only got 50 gold, so we can't really afford much. We can get a sword, we'll have a sword. The, the chance of you running into a bad guy is very high, so. 
keep it in mind that you need a good weapon because pickaxes don't do a lot of damage to them. Right, so we've got my sword, which is on my right click menu, and my pickaxe, which is on my left. And this in the middle is the health, I should have told you at the beginning. Alright, so we're going to go into the first randomly generated dungeon, and here we are. Alright, as you can see, there's all sorts around. Just feel free to mine. You can mine everything in the dungeon if you really like. As long as it's not like this here, concrete. And the other stuff I showed you. So this one's mainly a water level, it's a lot of drowned, it's just much easier to get around in the water. Right, so I've got all the loot, there's diamond there, I can't bother mine it. The rock, this rock here is a bit harder to mine. It goes this rock, then that rock, then that rock here, the lighter one, and then dirt. And the, um, but like I said, you get better pickaxes. I'm hoping to add a crafting sort of system. Right, here's the first, our first mob, a zombie. Oopsie. And seems to not want to die. Like I said, well, probably said this is very, very, very early alpha. And there's still a lot of bugs, as you can see. Right, so basically, you've got to go through a dungeon, find a door, and you can leave. Now I've got my loot, a bit more money, and the stats have gone up. Alright, so I'm going to go back in, go to the next dungeon. Hopefully I'll be able to kill the mob this time. You can see, totally different dungeon. Here comes a ghost. One shot kill. Don't mind that. Right. Yep, zombie. That, what I just dropped was experience. Uh, you can't do all with it at the moment. But it's, it's still there. To remind me to add something to do. Right, lots of emeralds in. Nice pile of gold here near the zombie. And he dropped a potion. Right, drink the potions. Be back. Right, so drink some potions. If you hover over them, it gives you a simple information the price, how much it heals, and how much health you've got in the moment. So now I've got full health. Don't have to worry about being killed. Let's carry on. As you know, it should take fall damage. And there are also traps spikes, which can be moved and built upon, just like that. Right, so at the moment, you can't build like anywhere in the sky like I just did then, but because there's someone underneath it, it can be build, built on. But there is a trick where if you build a wall by pressing Q, you can build on top of it. Okay, so these zombies look like they're going to be a pain. But I've got swords, so I guess we'll be alright. Didn't even see him. There we go. Right. Ah. This is a quest as such. As much as a quest can get. Kill all the enemies to leave. So I remember seeing a zombie down here. Yep. So before we're able to leave this dungeon, we have to kill all the mobs. And there's two zombies down here. Uh, you'll be able to get coal from these, <coughs> excuse me, darker blocks. But it, it doesn't cost as much to sell, so. Right, let's see if we've got rid of. Oops, I don't know what happened. Then. Got rid of all the monsters. And see if we can pass. Yep, leave dungeon. Right, as you can see, things are still buggy. That gold coin is stuck inside. Right, how much money? 45. Let's go to the village. Get rid of that. Just make it a straight run. Alright, so. Before we go to the shop, we've got one coal, seven emeralds, three sapphires, and one ruby. See how much money we get for selling all that. You can sell them independently, just like that. But I think I'll sell them all together. 197 gold, not bad. 245. 42. Right, so now we have a bit more money. We can buy a new hat if we really like. Cowboy hat, scuba helmet, Chinaman's hat, Pokeball. Yeah, just for fun of it. But I think we'll get some shoes if we can. Which we can That's fun. How about a weapon? Let's get a whip. I love the whip on this game. Right, so we'll sell that sword. Yep. Get the whip. Maybe a new hat? Let's go with a cowboy hat. Be a cowboy. Alright, so there you go. Look, got a new hat. It's a bit big for his head. And we also have the whip. Which knocks 
cast back. We don't do no damage at the moment. Alright, so we're going to do another dungeon. Show you what can be done. Right, new dungeon. Randomly gen generated. Um, the mobs are random. And the, the mobs also get harder the more you progress through the game. Right, here's a bridge. I'll show you what you can do. Right, you're able to jump through bridges and jump through them above as well. Oh, that was pretty easy, the doors right here. We can leave if we like, but I'll just look around. Spider, oh, excuse that. <laughs> I'll look a chest. I'll have a look in his chest, hopefully, we get something nice again. But yeah, you have to keep clicking to dig out stuff. Right, down to open. Lots of gold. Alright. So thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, I will keep put the link in the description for this game, um, just keep in mind it's very pre-alpha or alpha, we've just got the basic engine running at the moment, um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you what you can do at the moment and how you can do it. To this date, the day I've uploaded this video, there is 5 monsters and up to 10 randomly generated dungeons different sizes about 10 hats two pickaxes and quite a lot of weapons right, so thank you very much and I hopefully see you later bye